Hey, what's going on guys? Hector here. Welcome to my channel. Um, over the next couple years or so, I'd say I'm gonna be documenting my lifestyle changes as far as my diet, my habits, all that good stuff. So if you're interested on in joining me in my journey or interested in getting in shape yourself or kicking some nasty habits that you have, uh, feel free to subscribe, give me a follow, and I'd love to hear about your progress too, you know what I mean? Um, I think it's super important for people to hold each other accountable, and I think that's a big reason why I'm making these videos, these videos, sorry, um, is in order to hold myself accountable. Also to see my progress, you know, things to look back on once I'm 67 years old, but uh, for the most part, uh, definitely to make sure I'm keeping on the straight and narrow. So we're currently going to be doing the Dana White 86 hour fast. Um, once we hit the 86 hours, depending on how we feel, we might do the full four or five days. It just really depends on how we feel. So gonna be doing the fast, knocking. Um, we're gonna be kicking the, kicking the smoking habit. I'm a very, <laughs> or I was an avid uh, THC user, I smoke a lot of concentrates. We're gonna kick that habit, gonna start reading some books, at least, you know, a couple chapters a day, working out consistently uh, every single day, whether, even if it's at least an hour a day. So, small changes, but, you know, in the long run, it's gonna benefit me a lot. So, it's uh, just a water fast. First 24 hours, just straight water and electrolytes. I think that's optional, but, um, after the first 24 hours, I think we're gonna be doing, gonna be consuming a little bit of bone broth as well, along with the water. And then we're just gonna keep repeating the process until we hit the 86 hour mark. And like I said, if we feel good at the 86 hour mark, good enough to keep going, we're gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep it, keep it going prepping, you know. I don't know if I'll actually do the full seven days, but we might, you know, get to a full four or five days. So, um, as of now, my last meal was on Sunday at 6.30 p.m. I'm feeling pretty good. I think I'd say I feel a little fatigued this morning. Felt a little fatigued at the gym last night. We'll see how we feel at the gym later today. Um, nothing too intense, just gonna be hitting some weights. Yeah, I feel like once we hit the three day mark, we will actually be feeling good we'll actually be feeling some of the benefits right now obviously we're only two days in so uh, just a quick fyi um workouts will probably not be filmed for a, for a minute uh currently at a gym where recording devices aren't necessarily allowed a lot of old people it's like a rec center so a lot of old people um so just want to respect the rules of the establishment. Shortly, I'll be getting a gym membership in a town about like 20 minutes away. And um, it's like a 24 seven gym. So I feel like recording and, you know, having my tripod, you know, set up, there's gonna be a little bit more, you know, easy, manageable and accepted all, all, all around. But yeah, bear with me. I will leave a little, a little slide at the end of the videos detailing what workout I did and and you know how many reps how many sets all that good stuff now bear with me i'm i'm just starting to get back into the gym as well i'm uh haven't been i've gone every once in a while here and there but i haven't been consistently going like i used to go when i was in high school so um if you see me not doing as many sets or reps or or even just pushing as as much weight don't clown me. I'm gonna get there. Uh, Hector here. Uh, started the vlog, the vlog a little late today. Pretty busy Monday. Um, you know, running errands, getting new tires. Got to take my kid to his, uh, to his ABA therapy. Uh, picking up wifey later from work. Got to go to the grocery store. So run a lot of errands today on Monday. Uh, we are gonna head to the gym a little bit later. Get a little workout in. Right now we're heading home. Gonna go work out our forearms, relax for a little bit before we have to get the rest of our of our stuff done today. But yeah, also quick note, some of these vlogs might run between 
one day or between two days. It really just depends. So um, on days that I work, you know, you might get a two day vlog video just because, you know, when I'm working, not a lot of opportunity to film and also not a lot of eventful stuff going on at work that I'd want to show you guys. So um, just bear with me. I'm still getting used to this. I'm still really new at even just being in front of a camera. So bear with me if I'm a little awkward or if I, you know, am not as well-spoken as some other YouTubers. Uh, it's a work in progress. What's up guys? Uh, I haven't been really vlogging today. Not, uh, not on purpose. I'm not gonna lie. Editing has uh, has definitely taken its toll on me. I didn't think it was gonna be that much that much work. Now I can see why editors get paid what they do. So, but we're editing today. Just took uh, took my son to his therapy. So he'll be there for about an hour. Got to pick up the wifey here in about 30. So we're gonna go take these dogs to the park. So they can go, uh, they can go potty and, sh and shit. So um, should be a pretty chill day once I get home. Uh, probably gonna get ready, go to the gym. Gym's gonna be switched up a little bit. Not gonna be doing any cardio for these next couple days, just because we're doing the fasting. I just don't think losing more water weight on top of what probably I'm already gonna be losing is um, is good. So we're just gonna keep it to weights. Um, especially if I'm like feeling fatigued or if I'm feeling weak. I wanna make sure I have enough strength to at least get through my my lifting routine. So approaching 24 hours, it's been it's been pretty easy. Not even gonna lie, it's been pretty easy. Who knows how the next 24 are gonna go or the next 48, you know what I mean? Been drinking a lot of water, it's been definitely been helping with the, the hunger pains, but I feel like most of it's right up here, brother. Alrighty, a little, a little progress. We're currently at 24 hours. Uh, I wish I would have done uh, an actual before the, the fast, but very, very busy day today. So I was not really able to kind of like have some free time to do one of these, but this is where we're sitting at, at 24 hours. Obviously, got a lot of work to do. A lot of work ahead of us over these next couple of years. Uh, one of the goals I really want, I want to have abs. I've never had abs it, ever in my life. I've had like the top two, top three uh, when I was in wrestling, but uh, never, never a full six pack with the B and the whole shebang bang. So definitely got a lot of work to do, but this is where we're at. I think it's, I think it's okay. Haven't really been feeling too hungry up until about maybe like 30, 40 minutes ago. Got a little hunger pain, but we go. All right, mine the hair. Just got out of the gym. Looking extra scraggly. Feeling like absolute dookie butts. May have something to do with the fast, but I think tomorrow will be a little bit better day once I'm able to ingest a little bit of bone broth. Probably gonna do that before the gym have a little at the gym and then I'm gonna have like a nice bit after the gym but as of now I feel like shit so I'm gonna shower and finish editing and I'm gonna be off to fucking bed morning guys 6 45 I believe just got the little one ready for school say hi Isaac <laughs> gonna head up to the bus stop get him dropped off Got a couple of errands to run today. Pretty busy day, getting my taxes done. Um, quick update on how, I, how I'm feeling. I'm a little fatigued. Uh, currently going on, I think we're like around 30, 36 hours, something, somewhere around that neighborhood. Um, not eating, which is fine. I just feel a little, a little down in the slumps. It's, it's expected. Um, I feel like I'm gonna probably feel like this today, maybe a little bit of tomorrow, um, but who knows, maybe once I drink a little bit of bone broth today, it'll, uh, it'll lighten the spirits up, it'll make me feel a little bit better, at least get enough to go hit the weights for a little.
lot more videos. So here we got Miss Kimmy Chu, Kimberlyn. Mm -hmm. um, she's probably the most rambunctious out of the whole group. Hi, Kimmy. <laughs> and then over here we got our boy Mac Daddy chewing on his bone. Good old Mackie boy. And over there we got Ivy Girl. Come here, Ivy. Come here, honey. Here, say hi. Ivy Girl, come here. Say hi to the camera. Yes, oh my goodness. Pretty hectic most of our days here with these with these guys. So, but they're a good time. Hey guys, head to the gym. Probably only gonna knock out like a 30 or 40 minute just because I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not feeling too hot at the moment. Uh, just took a couple of little handfuls of salt, lots of water. Once I get out of the gym, I'll come back, drink some more broth, and I should feel a little bit better. I did feel really good when I uh, when I took that first, you know, big old cup of bone broth. I did feel really good. Uh, my inside and just overall all around. But um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Going to do a little bit of legs. And just see how far I can I can do it without potentially passing out on the on uh, any of the machines. Gym about 30 ago. It's it's getting a little rough. Only was only able to do like you know, a good 40 minutes before I kind of felt myself starting to give out as far as like strength and effort. So tomorrow will be day three. Hopefully we feel a little bit better. And we can go a little bit harder in the gym. Um, planning on eating on Thursday night. If things go better than expected, potentially Friday or Saturday night. Don't mind me in my son's room about to game out a little bit, but a little bit about my habits and uh, why I'm kicking them. So, like I said, pretty avid THC user. Uh, probably smoke about a gram of concentrated day. Uh, honestly, a lot of it, why I'm kicking it is because it's, I feel, not necessarily because of how it makes me feel or I think it's a huge health risk to it you know for myself but um i honestly think it's a habit i don't necessarily deserve at the moment now i have um i'm going to set out a goal a financial goal for myself in my personal life what that goal is i i'm not too sure yet still kind of figuring that out but um once i hit that goal then maybe i'll allow myself to partake in, in those kinds of things but at the moment you know i don't really feel like i have a uh, deserving reason to drink or smoke or party or do any of these things you know what I mean don't necessarily feel like I've accomplished enough to reward myself with those with those vices so that being said we're kicking it um, making a diet change obviously I feel like the older I get I'm only 27 but I feel like the older I get the more I kind of realize like the you know, overall importance of, you know, eating, you know, relatively healthy, exercising, making sure you're consuming, you know, content that isn't just garbage, um, rotting your brain, reading books. So, I mean, the older I get, the more I, you know, put a lot of value in those things. So, I figured, you know, why not just make the change, you know, all around completely. We're currently not smoking. We have been smoking for a couple days. Um, appetite was a little off those first couple days, but we're feeling good now. I'm, it's it's something that I don't even necessarily crave anymore. As far as with the diet, it's been a little bit tougher. I'm a huge I'm a huge juice guy. 
I love me some sweets. Love me. Sugar is just my kryptonite. I used to eat a lot of processed stuff and not even just on purpose, you know, just being, you know, lower middle class and having a family. It's like there's certain things that you just can't afford. So, um, as of right now, me and my me and my girl, we're doing our research and, you know, we're finding ways to you know, cut back on the processed stuff and just making sure we're making like nice home cooked meals and things like that. Um, so, yeah, and you know, one of the reasons why I started that fast work because of that, just to make sure, you know, my inside is as healthy as, you know, I want my outside to look. I guess I'll tell you guys a little bit about myself. My name is Hector Gonzalez, as you guys probably would have guessed. Um, 27, father of one beautiful six-year-old. Got a nice little family. Got my two dogs, my cat, my girl. You know, life is good. Life is really good. But I also think that, you know, we can also strive for better. So that's my goal over these next couple of years. To not only change my lifestyle, you know, physically and mentally, but also, I guess, reach different and new heights that I've never that I've never done before. I guess never really put myself outside of my comfort zone. And doing this YouTube thing is is definitely outside of my comfort zone. Over the past couple of years, I've never really documented a lot. I'm not a super photogenic or you know video taking kind of guy, so looking back on it now, I feel like I've missed out on a lot of things, like a lot of memories and, and things of that nature that I could have, you know, could still have, you know? So once I'm, you know, a little bit older, I think looking back at, at this YouTube channel will, uh, will make me feel good. It'll make me feel real good on the progress that I've made and the journey that I've, that I've been on. Not just me, but my, my family as well. So, uh, but without further ado, I'm happy to take you guys on this little journey with me uh, hopefully it, you know inspires you to make some change in your life as well if an average joe like me can you know kick all these bad habits you know go cold turkey and start making changes in his life there's no reason that you can't do i'm not special i'm not uh you know someone that's super gifted or super blessed you know athletically or mentally i'm a pretty average guy it's kind of like that, uh, Mar you know, that quote from Marcus Aurelius' book, you're just a man. And that's exactly how, I, you know, how I feel. I'm just a man. So if I'm able to do these things and better my life, I know for a fact that, you know, someone out there struggling with either substance abuse or struggling to get in shape or struggling to just even get outside, I, I know that they can do it too. So, all right, guys currently about, I want to say, 52 hours in, um, yeah, I think, I think I can see a small difference between yesterday's 24 hours sitting here at the 52 hour mark. <clears throat> that concludes vlog number one. Hopefully you guys join me on this journey and um, a lot more videos coming out soon. Obviously this is my first one so it's kind of shit but um, bear with me. It'll only get better. <laughs> Alright guys. Peace out. Catch you in the next one.